G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Hope you're all doing really well today. I am, I'm gonna try something different again. Um, now, did you guys see me making this platter? Hopefully you did. So this was a, a formed resin, like I put it upside down like that with a bowl underneath it. Let it dry like that. So that I waited five hours. Like it's different with, with every resin. So don't assume that you have to wait five hours. Um, you'll just have to do a little bit of playing with your resin. I've got some resins that are still bendy in 24 hours. Um, so I would probably, for this technique and that technique, <laughs> use a resin that sets up a little bit more quickly. I'm using today the Barnes. I can demold a coaster like 12 hours later and it's rock hard. So that's why I've chosen it for this. Um, now, similar to the bowl I just showed you, but that's my resin. I don't know how much to use. <laughs> I'm going to do um, a splash bowl or a drip bowl. So I've got, I've got my one of my dining plates under there, under a piece of plastic. I'm going to pour resin into the bowl, into, into the plate or on the plastic. And then I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to wait, but I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to drape it over my vase. Now, because it's open at the top there, it'll all sort of poke in. But I thought I'd do it like that and drape it over like that. So that's the plan. Um... I don't know how long it's going to take to set up so I'm just going to check it I'm thinking maybe three hours hmm don't know we're just gonna to have to play it by ear right so because it's splash I'm just going to do blue for the center clear for the outside and then I've got these gorgeous little crystals um, and if it works and they all kind of if it all kind of drips down we'll have little crystals sort of floating down and it'll kind of look like um, waves <laughs> anyway that's the theory let's get started I have no idea how much of this to make I probably made up more because I didn't want to have not enough but the other thing is if you make your resin too thin on this when it stretches it's going to thin out as well isn't it so you know, you might start off with, say, six millimetres, and when it stretches, it might only be a three millimetre uh, thick resin. So just be aware that um, whatever you do end up putting on here is probably going to thin out to about half of what you initially started with. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blue in there first. And I'm just going to use the alcohol ink by Pinata. This one's called Sapphire Blue. And if I've got any resin left over, I'll, I'll put it in my um, pyramid mold. Okay, remind me. Because it's nearly full. Actually, I can put that there. It's going to be fine. <laughs> so I just want a little bit of blue on the center. So when you turn it upside down, you've got the, the blue base and then it'll sort of come down to clear. So let's just try one drop and see what that looks like. I don't want it very dark and I don't need a lot. Don't you hate the way it always sticks to the sides? Clean it off the sides there. See, that's, that's pretty nice already, that color, isn't it? What's that gonna look like down? Mm, not very dark at all, is it? Now that you see it on there. Let's do another one. So you can always test your... Let's do three drops. You can always test it on a piece of plastic to see what it's actually going to look like because it looks darker in the cup, doesn't it? And you'd hate to pour it out and think, oh, it's too light, and then it's down and it's too late. You can't change it then. So just put a little drop down and see what, if you're happy with the colour or not. It's more like a little teal color, isn't it? I wouldn't mind a darker, but no, look, I wanted it really transparent. Let's see what that looks like. That's better, isn't it? Mm, maybe we'll do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do two more. I like rounded numbers. I like the number five. 
Let's do five drops. Because we do want it to look like ocean. That's a better colour. Look at that. And it looks much deeper in there because there's a lot of it. So once it spreads out, it's not going to look that dark. Now I'm going to have to be really careful torching this. I probably won't be able to use that. Actually, let's put him right away. I'll have to bring my heat gun out, otherwise I'm going to melt the plastic. And that's not going to be good. So again, if you do this technique, because you can't really heat that, choose a resin that sets up quickly and choose a resin that's not too bubbly. Okay? Let's just get that off. There we go. Right, I'll put down our little puddle first. I wonder if I should have kind of like tried to stick that down. I guess the weight of it will push it down eventually, won't it? Put a little puddle down for now. You know what I could have done? And I'll just do that, see if, see if it'll work is if I just put a little bit of water on my my fingers, I wonder if that'll just kind of stick that down a bit. No, <laughs> that's not working either. All right, we'll just have to wait for the weight of it to um, pull that down. Hopefully it'll work. I mean, you could have, I guess, done a thinner plastic, but then you run the risk of um, not being able to take it out of your mould. Like once it's finished being formed, you won't be able to get it out. Like if you use cling wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to pour that in. Oh, it's taking quite a lot actually. Now let's see if I can... It's a bit tricky. I think it's okay. Like it's going to be quite abstract once it's taken out right now. So I need some more blue in the centre there. It's not really looking blue, is it? It's more of a teal. Right, we'll use all of that. Might as well. Okay. Now I'm going to put some... Oh, look at that. That's all I've got left. Put that around the outside. Oh, just as well I made up that much. Look at that, it's all gone. Here am I thinking I'm going to have enough for my mould. Uh, my pyramid mould, no, that's not happening, is it? Nope. All right. I'm just going to wipe my stick off so that I can... My, this is my mixing stick, I use it all the time. Okay, let's just kind of swirl that a little bit to give it a, a more kind of organic sort of look. That'll do. Ish. I'm sure the resin's going to all change anyway. Now, the next thing I want to do is, now let me take my gloves off for this. I'm going to put my little crystals in along the edge. Just going to kind of sprinkle a few on. I don't want to use too many in case it doesn't work. <laughs> and then I've wasted my crystals. sitting up a little bit but I don't think there's anything I can do about that yeah, it'll all change once it's once it's draped it's gonna all be very different I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see these little crystals once it's dry should be able to get in there just a little bit of bling hey And that blue watery colour, that all kind of drip down as well. Hopefully it'll drip down like a different speed so I'll have a little bit of 
my blue in the middle and then a little bit of blue on you know dripping down and at different heights different level dripped in the middle I'm gonna have to get him out there's my tweezers maybe I should have used a, a teaspoon where are you it's like playing go fish oh, I've lost him he's in there somewhere I'll be all right okay uh, a few more <laughs> I don't want to use too many I should do a little practice one first hey I mean this is not huge because it's a little practice one now I don't know how thick my resin is it's probably it's probably a little bit on the thick side like maybe too thick for this but there we go that'll do I don't want to put too much on now where's my little stick I've got this stick here that's got seven millimeters on it that I, I use when I make coasters. Okay, so that's just over, or probably just on. So maybe eight millimeters, which is fine because once it stretches out, and hopefully it'll like double its size when it stretches, it'll probably come down to about four millimeters thick, which isn't very much at all. So, um, oh, heat gun. Give it a bit of heat. Pop some bubbles. Not too much. Don't want to burn my plastic. Not my plastic. If I can push that. No. See, that blue's not really moving very much. Right, that'll do. Like I said, I don't want to overheat it. Hope my plastic's okay. Yep. Oh, it's warm. You can feel it. It's warm. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, and I'm going to just come back and check it. I'll come back in about two hours and check it. And then I'll check it at the three hour mark and, and so on. Um, and see what it's doing. If it has to be set enough that it's not just going to run straight off when I flip it upside down. But not set too much. Um, that it won't drip at all. So it's really a fine line. It's going to be tricky. Alright, I'll see you in two hours. Hey guys, it's uh, it's been an hour and a half, but um, the middle seems to be quite hard. The sides, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to try it. <laughs> I don't want to wait too long and then I won't get any drip at all. Hey, let's put that there for a minute. Actually... Oh, where can I put it? Put you there. I just covered my bars in a plastic bag because I don't want to get any resin touching it. Obviously. Mm, let's go this way. I'll see if we can get you in frame. Okay, so let's try this and see what happens. I'm going to put that there. And I'm just going to pull the plastic. I hope I haven't left it too long. My, oh my gosh, look at that. I don't get why the middle was... Look at that. It's hard. Why is that hard? That's weird. Whoops. Oh, don't break your vase, Julie. Let's do this. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, goodness me. All right. <laughs> People that do these, they make it look so easy. Am I in frame? Oh, let's come forward a bit. Yeah, they make it look easy. I better put my gloves on in case I get a new resin on myself. And um, <clears throat> get my heat gun out. Because it... Oh my gosh. All right, let's get the heat gun out. It's only been an hour and a half. I'm going to heat it from the top here. Just got to be careful because I don't want to melt my, my plastic. I 
think I've left it too long. Who would have thought? An hour and a half. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's really hot. I wonder what's gone wrong. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe because it wasn't, it's like it's, I know I've just heated it, but it was hot before, like when it was on the plate, it was hot. Um, like it's really still quite soft on the edges. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Let's just try and heating it some more. All I'm doing is melting my plastic. My plastic's melting. Um, yeah, it's not really doing anything. The sides, the sides are starting to to drip, but the top's not. It's still rock hard. Like it doesn't want to bend. Have no idea, you guys. Have no idea. Mm, obviously, left it too long. Now I've heated these, and they're dripping. I don't know. Um, I've obviously left it too long. I'm going to do another one because it's still early. And I'll let this one sit for a little while and, and see what it does. But um, obviously I needed to take it out sooner. Mm, interesting. Okay. I'll get set up and, and um, I'll do this again. See you in a sec. Now, uh, because it's a splash bowl, I just want like watercolour. Now, this is just um, some blue. Um, it hasn't got a label on it. I got it from Lorez. Susanna sent me a, a couple of samples. It's um, it's a tint, so it's not it's not an alcohol ink. It's just a tint. There we go. That was one drop. So I kind of want it looking a bit ocean-like. This one, I know it looks blue there, but in here it's more of a teal, isn't it? I guess if I put more blue in, it might go blue. So just to test it, put a little drop there. And you can see that that's the colour, because in here is deeper, so it does look darker. Um, I think I'll do another drop, because I really want blue. Whoops, there it goes. <laughs> it went in without me even pushing it in. I mean, on my gloves it looks blue. Maybe you need to use quite a lot to get blue, though. It's still looking quite teal. Mm, I wonder what I can put in that to make it more blue. Um, let me see what pastes I've got. Here's the pastes. Um, sapphire blue. Sapphire blue from Lorez. Let's do a tiny little bit of that. I'll just wipe the stick off tiny tiny little bit because I you know I don't want a lot I just want it to color it I still want it quite transparent oh that's better that's nice I like that I still want it transparent though because I just want the blue in the center um, and then I want clear around the outside Uh, so that when it kind of drips, maybe the blue will melt in with the clear a little bit. It's still quite transparent. You can see the stick. Right, so what I'm going to do first, and then I'm going to put some of these sprinkles around the edge. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pour my resin in. Now, I had a little practice with this before. And I had a, um, a dinner plate, which was kind of a bit on an angle. The bottom of the dinner plate was quite thick, about 8 mil. 
and then when it came up the sides it was really thin so because it was thick in the middle it set really quickly but the sides weren't nearly done yet they were far off being done so I, um, I would say just make sure that you get a plate or a container or something that's going to be flat like not on a not on a slope because that did not work the slope did not work and I've got a piece of plastic over my plastic plate this is a, just a plastic picnic plate I don't want to go too deep let's have a look at the depth of that one I've got a little stick here that's got seven mil written on it so I can Right, that's about six mil at the moment, so I really don't want to go much thicker than that. I wonder if I can push this because it's the it's plastic, like it's it doesn't really want to go into the edges. I'd have to kind of just push that a bit like that so it's not getting the tension on it, like so. Okay, so I'll leave that. I'm going to put a little bit of this blue. <laughs> put a little bit of this blue in the centre. Again, I don't need very much. Oh, that looks pretty. And then I'm just going to kind of do that with it. Just to spread it out a little bit. It'll move around and do its own thing. But I don't want to have too much blue around the edges. I just want it more in the middle. Okay, that'll that'll kind of spread out. I don't think it'll stay in that particular shape. Oh, I've still got resin left. I made up 110 grams of part A and 50 grams of part B so that's not much it's really not much at all I did contemplate just pouring it straight onto the plastic but because it's so thin like it would just spread everywhere wouldn't it so that's why I did the plastic plate um, I'm just getting a little spoon I'll take this glove off I'm going to put a little bit of sprinkles around the edge the edge looks blue doesn't it it's um <laughs> it's reflecting the, the center and it's got these little sprinkles off ebay i don't want to add too many in case it doesn't work and then i've wasted my sprinkles I'll just try and get along the edges there because as it drips down, I think it would be really pretty. It would look, kind of look like it's just waves glistening in the sunshine, hopefully. Just a few. I don't want to waste all of them. I thought I was getting more than just a little packet, but never mind. You don't know what you're getting, do you, until it's here. All right, that'll do I'll leave that spoon in there for a later date. Uh, now, a little bit of heat, just pop some bubbles. Not a lot. Give that a bit of a blow. Okay. Now, not sure what it's going to do, this, this blue. Maybe I need to kind of spread it out a little bit. Mm, not sure what it's going to do. Oh, let's get it back in. Huh, I didn't know you could do that. Push it back in. Give it a swirl. I'm sure it'll move and do its own thing anyway. Look, that looks more like, that looks a little bit more natural, doesn't it? So we'll see what happens. It, it may spread out, I, I don't know. But I'm hoping that when it sort of drips down the side, a little bit of the blue will drip down as well with the clear. So I'll just leave it like that. 
Um, what's the time? 2.20 in the afternoon. I'm going to come back and check it in an hour. Um, hopefully it's not too thick. And that doesn't look very, very good at the moment, does it? <laughs> but, um, all right, I'll come back in an hour and we'll check it, see how it's going. Hey, guys. Right, it has been an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> I got caught up outside taking photos of resin. Right. Now, I'll put it, I'll give it a test. I'll put it over my vase and I'll see what it's going to do because, look, it's really, it's really quite soft still. But, you know, it has to be soft, otherwise it's just going to sit there, isn't it? It's not going to drip and we want it to drip. So, oh, as you can see, I ended up doing little lines through. I, don't, I didn't like the way it was just a, a blob in the middle. Okay, now I've got some um, grease proof paper or baking paper just under there to catch my drips. And I've got my vase. How am I going to do this? I always need another pair of hands. I'm just going to hang on to that for a minute while I get my vase. Oh, no, I can't. Hang on. I have to put this down. I need to pick up my vase with two hands, like so. Now, can you see? I'll make sure that you can still see. Oh, God, no. That's terrible. You are terrible, Muriel. How's that? I'll come back a little bit more. I guess that'll be all right. Maybe. See how it goes. I probably need to be up higher, don't I? No, see how that is. Hopefully you can still see. Right, now I've got two hands to pick up this piece of plastic. And I'll bring it over gently so I don't ruin it. Where's my middle? There's my middle. And just let it fall. Okay. Now I'm just going to see if it's equal all the way around. Bring the side down a little bitty. See, I've got the wider end at the top because I don't want it. You know how some of them they kind of go down, down like a V? I wanted it sort of a bit wider. So that's why I'm kind of just have this shape. Ooh. It's very wobbly because it's only on a little tiny point there. Okay, well that's that's sitting okay. I'm just going to make a couple of little creases in it. I shall take my gloves off for that. Is it dripping yet? Is it? Is it? Ha ha! Is it? <laughs> I'm just going to kind of put a few more little creases in it because I'd like to do that. Without touching the resin. Go around here. Oh, look, it is dripping. It's working. Let's put another crease in there. And another one in there. Just so we get a little bit of, a little bit more movement in it. Add, add a few little creases. I'd say that was a good time, you guys, an hour. Well, an hour and 10 minutes to be exact. It's dripping, it's dripping, yay! Oh my gosh. Now I just have to hope it doesn't drip all the way down here. Because we want a little bit of dripping. I mean, I don't mind if we get longer pieces, you know, I think that's quite interesting. Yay, it's working! Oh, look at that. There's, you're racing off, aren't you? We can have a little competition on who's racing the fastest. Now, I just want to turn that around so I can see. Whoops. My dogs are barking again. Oh, these two are stuck together now. One of my little, one of my little um, creases went over the top of the other one. 
it like it's stuck like these two kind of stuck together I'm not going to do it but Izzy stop it please people listening to you all right I'm just going to check that all the way around that little bit there I can, I can just snip that off later like if there's any little bits that you don't like later on you know you can always snip them off when they dry that was the bit that was stuck onto the other piece so I'll leave it like that and that little bit that little bit that's on the end there I'll just snip that off later but look it's dripping and look see there's bits of clear and then the blue is dripping down in certain areas where's all my crystals I guess the crystal thing didn't really work but we've got the blue on the top so that's pretty am I scented mm. I think so. Oh, look, I've got drips, you guys. Look, there's a... Oh. It's my fault. I'm doing it. It's because I'm going, yay, like this. And the dogs can hear me. And so they think that I'm excited that, you know, they should be excited too. I'll just shut the door now so they can't hear me. Because I figured, look, I'm only going to be 10 minutes. I don't need to shut the door, but... Obviously I do. So there we go. There's the blue on top. It's still running. Look at look how far it's gone. It's like nearly halfway already. I'm just gonna make sure that nothing's kind of folded over onto each other, onto itself. Mm, well, if it does, it does. See that bit there? I, look, I'm not going to be able to stand here and stop it from folding in on itself. It's, it's, you know, it's an abstract piece. It's just going to do what it wants to do. Um, and not much I can really do to, to change it. So there we go. Oh, that's exciting! My first splash. Um, you know how sometimes people do two and they put them inside each other, like maybe like a skinnier, longer one to go up in the middle. So we'll see what happens. I might end up doing two if it's not like spiky enough. So um, yeah, we'll just see. I'll keep you posted. All right. Um, I'll see you. Um, oh, what's it now? It's only 25 to four in the afternoon. So I'll probably check it again before I go to bed and I might show you then because it should be hard by then. All right. Stay tuned. morning well it's morning for me anyway right so these are our two babies I decided I'd keep this one because it might be nice with um, this little one sitting inside it but if not I'll just throw it out right so it's just been sitting there on this bottle of paint Let's see if I can get this one off first hey actually I might um fast forward you oh, nah it's all right you guys don't mind watching hey I don't, I don't think it's going to be too too difficult to get out reminds me of a crown oh look at that easy peasy lemon squeezy look at that Ooh. now because I had it sort of sitting over a bottle it's got a bit of a curve on the bottom but it can still sit flat oh look at that so yeah, it's um, I guess it's a bit wobbly that way because it was you know curved, but yeah, it reminds me of a crown. How cool is that? I like it. it. Certainly looks like the sides look as if you know something's gone into the water and it's gone splash, and all the little bits have come up on the sides. Really pretty. All right, let's move that one out of the way. Um, I don't know if I can salvage my plastic again because you know I heated it so it's gone all shriveled so I guess that's a shame 
Uh, right, next one. Let me just move you over a, a little bit and get centered. Okay. Now, as you can see, I did put some little bottles on the sides because it was starting to like follow the shape of the vase and sort of curve in and I didn't want that. So I just popped some little bottles under here. I'm going to have a bit of cleaning up to do. Some of them have got stuck uh, just to sort of keep it out on an angle like that. So I'll move those all the way around the back as well. I've got a few little drips on my bottles but that, that doesn't matter. Oh look it comes off. I use these for my um, my blooms. Alrighty, any more? One more. Okay, oh, so looking forward to this. Right, let's take him off the vase first. And I'll just move this out of the way. I was worried that it was going to fall over because it's on its little thin end, you see. Anyway, I'll keep that wrapped in plastic so that um, I can use it again. <laughs> Let's peel this off. Okay, dokies. Look at that. Oh, look at these bits. It's like antennas. <laughs> How funny is that? I'm not keeping those. But they look really weird. Let's just snip them off. Whoops. Snip. And that's it. And I'll think about what I want to do with those little points later. I might keep them. Adds to the interest. Okay, now same thing. And then we have to peel this carefully. Now this piece of a plastic is um, a little bit thinner than this plastic. This piece of plastic um, came with one of the moulds that I bought. The mould was wrapped in it. And this piece of plastic, it was covering an outdoor carpet that I used on my deck. So I was about to throw it away and I thought, oh, I should keep that because I can use it for my splash bowls. Oh, look at it, you guys. I hope I've left it long enough. I guess it'll go hard eventually, hey. I just don't want to rip any of these little tentacle things. Actually, what I might do after I've demolded, so to speak, because they're all kind of splaying out a little bit, I may um, put some tape around them or a, a bit of ribbon or something just to keep them from spreading too far out. What do you think? Do you think that would be a good idea? We'll see what it looks like. I see this one's already flopping down and I don't want them to stay like that. I want them to stay upright. Woohoo! Look at that! We've got it! Oh my gosh, that is so pretty! So we just need it to come in like this. What about if I, if I put a ribbon around it like that? But then I think these top ones are going to bend over anyway. Maybe I should put it back. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? This one's got a little double one. I might chop him off. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, all right, let's just try this. See what this looks like. Put him in there. Put him in there. <laughs> what do you reckon? What do you think? I will have to put it back upside down, but <clears throat> let me just take it out down for a close-up so you can see the full effect. And then I'll stick him back on the vase for another day. It's like some alien creature, isn't it? <laughs> With lots of legs. That's really pretty. And do you like how the center's blue? And then as it comes up, it's much more pale. Some of them are clear. Some of them have got a little bit of blue in them. <clears throat> oh, look, it's really flopped over now, hasn't it? All right, let me put him back up on the um, vase. All right, so I've just put it back on the vase. I've put the, just the narrow end at the top. 
I don't think that's going to move too much. Um, and then these guys, they will just ease their way down and hopefully just dry like that. So, um, yeah, I'll leave him like that. This one's not going anywhere. He's staying where he is. Alrighto, well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little video. Maybe not so little. It was a bit on the long side because I put two together. But uh, once this one's dried fully, I'll take a photo and, uh, and show you the finished product. Righto, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.